first technique we're going to learn is called Osotogari. I'm going to step, pull, lean. So now, if you look at any judo technique, there's three pieces to this. The kazushi, the tsukuri, and the kake. Kazushi is all foul. My opponent is on balance. He has two stable legs, right? His weight is distributed evenly. The kazushi, I'm going to step, pull, lean. Look, he's off balance now. He's off balance. His axis of his center of axis is skewed to one direction. So I'm going to kazushi, off balance. Tsukuri is the make of the throw, the shape of the throw, and the kake is the execution. See, for this throw, I take him down, outside. Okay, this is a very classic osoto guard. There are many variations to this, okay? You can't just do this technique and then expect to throw them every single time. Maybe he pulls that foot back. Oh no, I reach, and now I have to finish in a hopping mode. Maybe it's right side versus left side. So I do a cross body osoto, back step, block the leg here, and then drive across, okay? Maybe I can't reach that leg as a right side lefty. So I enter Ochi first, inside trip, and then I go to the outside. So there's lots of different ideas behind this one technique. There are many variations. Maybe if I'm looking for a sort of he defends by leaning away from me here, it's gonna be very difficult to finish because he's going in the opposite direction. So maybe if I make it look like I'm going to sort of I go to side, and now from here, look like I'm gonna tap this up. So there's all these contextual things that little by little you're gonna figure out yourself and you're gonna fill these gaps in, right, as you train it. So we know sort of guard, hand collar. I'm pulling with this hand here, and I'm making the kazushi, and I'm pulling with both of my hands. There's a body lean, and I'm throwing my body in here, and we're gonna do what's called uchikomi, which is fit-ins. This is how we train. Basic fit-in, reciprocal training kind of. I'm going from point A to point B, as is my cousin. He's off balance, on balance. Off balance, on balance. Here, 10, and that's how you train. Your sort of guard. And as you get better, you want to make sure that you're not just training the one piece of it, but contextually. Maybe attack to the outside foot here, snap the head down, there's my osoto, okay? Maybe I pull the head down, make it look like a one osoto, go to the side, and then go for a sort of a cross body osoto from here. And this is like combination. But generally, what you need to know is uchikomi. Now we're gonna look at inside trip. Same idea, neutral position. Step, two, hook the leg. Very, very basic inside chip, also called Ochigari. One, two, inside chip. You could also do Chikome for Ochigari. One, two, three, four. You could do moving with Chikome. One, two, Ochi. One, two, Ochi. You can move with Chikome in the opposite direction. One, two, Ochi. One, two, Ochi. So now you have Uchikomi, moving Uchikomi, three person Uchikomi, where I'm blasting Eugene in for the back trip, but someone's supporting. It would kind of look like this if we're here, and the third person was behind Eugene. So the third could, person is the wall. Third person is the wall. So I'm going blasting inside trip here. You see, I'm driving the whole body in, but he's not falling over because there's support there. So we got inside trip, outside trip, Ochi Osoto. I think it's important to notice that when we're practicing or doing uchi komi, for me as the uke, the receiving partner, mm. I'm cooperating with him. There's a yeah. time for us to be uncooperative when we're doing sparring or doing doing randori. But while he's practicing, he should have the experience of being able to get the kazushi, the off balancing. So my arms are pretty loose. I'm just going with the flow so he can get mm. good practice, and then he'll do the same for me when yeah, it's my right. turn to practice. And use a great term, uke. Uke is a person taking the technique. Tori is a person doing the technique. Getting yeah. somewhere now, right? Yeah. <laughs> Getting somewhere. Yeah. All right. So we got Ochi Osoto, and now we're looking at Sasai. Bang. Okay, we're going to kind of brush through all these techniques. Sasai. So we got Ochi Osoto, Osoto, Ochi, Sasai. Now we're going to go through the Ko Uchi, Ko Soto. So now, a lot of these techniques in Japanese are very descriptive. O Soto means big outside. Gari reap, or sort of gari. O uchi gari, big inside reap. And the reason why this movement is big is because I'm using my glutes, I'm using my strong muscles. Now we're gonna go ko uchi, it's small, because I'm using a much smaller muscle, the abductor? Adductors? Adductors. Muscle. Adductor gene. He's a physical yeah. therapist. So, ko uchi gari, here. That's it. Now this is a timing oriented technique. One, two foot comes forward, catch the ko uchi. One, 
to Castle Coaching. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on each technique because that's not the whole point. It's to kind of show you the curriculum, right? You gotta fill in the gaps in training. You gotta do the stuff or you won't learn it. So now we got Ko Soto, we're small outside. We're attacking the back of the foot here and then driving my opponent over that foot. 